Okay, says we're live. So we're going to get busy right after I get my computer set up. And when I just tried to go live, it said I ha they had trouble connecting. So hopefully we don't have that nonsense going on today. We shall see. Hopefully everything will be just fine. We'll see. And it's storming here today, so if you hear thunder in the background, there's good reason for that. Hi, CD. Hey, Uncle Dan. They let anybody in here. You are living proof of that. Believe me. Oh, so I hope you all are doing well. Hi, Barbara. You got a seat. Right up front. But if you misbehave, you'll be in the back with Uncle Dan. Because he should just go there automatically with Rachel and Dee Dee. Hi, Terry. Um, nose is running as usual. <sighs> but I'm so happy, you guys, because... It's rainy and stormy and stuff like that, but it's not in the teens, and it feels like spring to me now. It really feels like spring. Robert actually got the mower out yesterday. He is dying to get on that mower, I'm telling you. So he, he got on it yesterday. Of course, the grass doesn't need mowing, but that's beside the point. Hi, Julie. Hi, Don. All right, notifications must have gone out. Apparently, Barbara. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Yeah, I am welcoming spring this year. It, it just seemed like winter was freaking endless. And the thing was, winter just came so late. Hey, Dee Dee. Seems like the last few weeks it was just horrible when I'm all excited that here we go, we're going to warm up. Yeah. But that's all right. I can deal. And I do have daffodils blooming. And my roses are getting green, so it's 40 above there. Well, you're we're not a whole heck of a lot warmer than that. We might be 62 today. So that's cool. I can deal with that. So, yep, and I saw most of you at Dee Dee's this morning while she worked on her monk giraffe. That was good. I love Monday mornings. I, I hate Monday mornings when people talk at me, except Dee Dee. The only people I want to hear on Monday morning is Dee Dee. But this morning was good. And I did not get sucked in to order in any books, so that was another good thing. Because when I think about ordering the books, I'm just like, okay, when they come, where are you going to put them? Never mind. 50 below, yes, Barb. It definitely is better than 50 below. So I'm going to do a quick watercolor in the Beast today. Oh, I'll show you guys what I've done in the scavenger hunt. I only have seven prompts left to go, you guys. So I think, it, unless I just blow up and don't do anything, I think this bad boy's going to get done. Let's look at what I have left. I think most of them I have stuff for. Historic article. I actually did. I was going to... Just practice, but this may end up being the finished page. Because one of the prompts is use makeup. Well, hi, grandson Christopher. Um, the pretty palette again. This one. This is white, the White Knights. I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, I think this was a special release, actually. It's the pastel colors. Um, and they're a little weird because the filler in them, like I like the White Knight, um, 
watercolors, but this um, pastel palette has a lot of um, white filler to make it pastel, right? Um, and so you can see on some of them where the black line just doesn't show that well. I do like it. I, I like the White Knight paints, but this is a different set. So, yeah. But we're going to play with it today. So, anyway, use makeup. Well, the truth of the matter is I've thrown um, most of the makeup I owned away. Because it just got old, right? So when I have to use makeup, it's like, what the hell am I going to use? And I found a, this is funny. Um, I mean, years ago, years and years and years ago, my mother put in one of my Christmas stockings. Now, keep in mind, my mother died 21 years ago. <laughs> so, well, maybe, yeah, 21, a little over 21. She had put this in my um, Christmas stocking, and it was in a drawer of stuff where I don't ever use it, but blah, blah, blah. So I got this one out, and I had some green in that. So I'm probably going to end up using this as both the historical article um, and the makeup. I just haven't decided yet, but it's about the Oklahoma City Memorial when the bombing happened what was that god it's been a long long time ago anyway it's an amazing memorial they did an unbelievably good job with it and there's a tree outside the building that survived the blast and the building falling and everything so i started just playing um with the makeup but i ended up kind of liking this the I think they call it the survivor tree. Um, yeah. So this may end up being in the beast or in the scavenger hunt because I actually kind of like it. But I had to use this crap makeup, and then this was in a drawer. Makeups that I don't really use. So yeah. <laughs> When you don't have makeup. So that one I was just playing with. But if you haven't read about the survivor tree and all that, or if you drive by Oklahoma City, I would say go to the memorial. They've done such an amazing job. Um, <clears throat> whoever designed that and put it together was really thinking outside the box. And if you go in, say hi to my friend Mary. She works there. So that was my used makeup. So that one may be done already. Um, I haven't created an ad yet. Paper doll, I have. Um, I haven't done it. But historic article, that would be taken care of with that one. So that's two down. Ransom note, I haven't done. Sorry game, I haven't done. And demand notice. So those are the only seven I've got left. So I think I'm actually going to accomplish completing it this year. And the deadline is April 1st, so if you want to be included, I agree, Riri, hi, by the way, and anybody else I missed coming in while I was ranting. Um, yeah. You only got, what, two weeks? Let's see, we're at the 21st. No, we're getting close to like one week. So if you have finished it, Make sure I have you on the list. I'll read off the people on the list. So if you you finished and I don't have you on the list, you can contact me. Peggy Fitzmorris finished hers in 11 days. Hey, Judy. Um, Tina's Messy Craft Life finished in 24 days. Terry Brett, Julie Lane, Tanya McGuire, Linda Rents, Kimberly Iwanowski, and Donna. DeGail Kalu. So if you finished it and I didn't read your name, you need to let me know so I can get you on the list for the giveaway. Okay? Do that. I'm not... Um, 31 days in March. Thank you, Rachel, because I had no clue. I could have looked in the beast. Anyway, 
yeah let me know if you finished so i did do a couple i don't can't remember if i posted anything or not i'm really bad about posting i know i did finish a couple oh okay the taboo from last week which i have not put the stuff the words on it yet but i will and then i did domino tetris which i love this one lisa all right lisa jameson we are getting you on the list all right lisa jameson that's number nine number ten is barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. Anybody else? All right. Well, good. We got two more finishers. But I like Domino Tetris. This was really fun. And um, I put Dee Dee in here. Look at there's a star and falling stars in the background. But this was fun. I had way fun with this one. And it would be a fun game. I don't ha have, I mean, I have the Tetris game on the Wii, but um, Domino's Tetris would make it really hard and really fun. So, Lisa, I remember that. Okay. Okay, and then this one I finished. This was funny text messages, so I'm going to read them to you. Um, this one is from his girlfriend. She says, I want to kiss you. And he says, everywhere? She says, mm-hmm. Omaha, Nebraska. Springfield, Ohio. Red Lobster. Stop! Radio Shack? That stuff like that just makes me laugh. It's funny. I see. Oh, hi, Icy. Dee Dee's just typing in caps. Hi, Sherry. Um, and then I got on a website that had dog text messages. And I thought, how much fun would it be if you could text message with your pets? Right? So these are the next three are from the dog. Dog texts his owner and says, where are you? Owner says, where am I? Where are you? I'm at home eating Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Owner yells back, I'm at the park. Dog answers, what are you doing there? Waiting for you to bring back the stick I threw two hours ago. Oh, yeah, totally couldn't find it. Why does stuff like that crack me up? Dog writes, still hungry. Owner writes, you've had breakfast. I want more breakfast. You'll get fat. What's fat? It's what happens when you eat too much food. Fat sounds awesome. Let's get fat. <laughs> Dog. This morning I saw a squirrel in the garden. Forget it. He called me a chicken. Forget it. I opened the door and told him to say it to my face. Oh, God. He beat the crap out of me and stole the microwave. <laughs> okay, truth of the matter is... Hi, CB. Oh, CB was here first. I get on these websites and read this stuff. And I laugh. I mean, I just sit there. I can spend an hour or more just laughing at these. Who writes this stuff? They're so damn funny. I want to hang out with them. I want to start writing funny text messages with them. And I think that's pretty much all I did. Don't tie your vegetables to your cow. That's it. That's all I've done. So, yeah. I think I can get the last few done, though. Right? But I probably spent all week reading funny text messages from the dog. I really wish we could text message with our dogs. Or at least read their thoughts. You know? Like, yeah. And other than that, I have nothing... Well, I got... Um, our garbage disposal went out, so I had to order one from Amazon, and I was telling Dee Dee on the phone, 
I can't order something from Amazon like just a garbage disposal and plumber's putty. You always have to order something fun. And I had actually been on the computer that morning um, looking for stencils that Dee Dee had used for somebody in chat. And I saw this set of lettering stencils. So that was my present for having to order a crapola garbage disposal. And you guys, I have a real sickness. Hey, Barb Owen. Barb Owen, honest to God, I have a note here. I've got to write you a message from your um, stream on Friday. I'm pissed that I missed it, first of all, because I was just upstairs or reorganizing books and dusting and stuff. There's no reason I shouldn't have been at your stream. But you were talking about um, Clawsman and his flashlights. Robert Vaughn is the same. He has different flashlights for everything. Some of them are at a right angle. Some of them have a button to turn on. Some of them you have to screw to turn on. All different sizes. And they're everywhere. And he's always looking for something, right? So, invariably I'll ask him, well, what are you looking for? Flashlight. Like, we don't have 15,000 of those bastards around here. <laughs> they're everywhere. Like, they're at every, every surface has one. I do want all the rulers. I want all the rulers because that was also on the list of things that I needed to talk to you about. Was I like Claus Man when all I thought he did was carve Santa Clauses and birds and stuff. But now that I know he has a penchant for rulers, I don't know. I, I think I'm in love more than ever. And then the other thing that cracked me up was um, when you had your um, hooker photos taken and you were also a biker babe. I think there's a whole zine out there about biker hookers. Don't you think? Biker hookers. Oh. Anyway, now I've just written told you everything I was going to talk to you about in the message. Anyway, I have a real illness with lettering stencils. And I love these. But I had a real treat being able to um, watch you on Saturday, Barb. You took 25 rulers to the Goodwill? Barb, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe by taking them to Goodwill, you'll start a new generation of um, young people who are hooked on rulers. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. All right. So look at the swatches, Barb. All nice. <laughs> she teased me the other day about my swatches. <laughs> Without a doubt, there's something wrong with you. Well, fortunately, Barb, we can all say that. You know, you, you are not the only one. Not by a long stretch. And you have a good excuse. This is your brain on rulers. Exactly, Dan. Yes, you can, Barb. And that's what you should do is embrace who you are or who you want to be. If you want to be a biker hooker, girl, you go for it. I think you'd make a good one. Please explain American garbage disposal to me. <laughs> we have to check stuff in the rubbish bin. Um, <laughs> Barb. Um, okay, American, I don't... Not all Americans have garbage disposals, okay, first of all. Some houses don't have them. If I lived in a house that didn't have one, I would put one in. Because all of your leftovers, um, the only thing you can't do with a garbage disposal, well, this is my rule for people who come visit. If you wouldn't put it in your mouth, don't put it in the garbage disposal, right? 
so like grease, grease is terrible for garbage disposals. But you just throw it in the sink, turn on the water, flip on the garbage disposal, and boom, everything's gone. You got no more rotten crap all over your garbage. That's a good goal though, Barb. Clean and organize. Yeah. Someday when I have to go down in the man cave. Oh, 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 oh God. I shouldn't even think that way because I'll have freaking nightmares about what I'm going to find. Okay, broccoli is out. <laughs> no, you could put broccoli down there and you can put broccoli, you know, like the leaves and stuff off broccoli. The only thing I don't put in mine is grease. Um, but I'm on a septic system. So maybe if you live in city water, you could do that, but I wouldn't. Wilma Flintstone had a real live pig under his sink. Well, there you go. See, Judy, there are infinite ways to skin a cat. Reminds you of horror movies. Next Drama Free Friday, next chapter in Klausman's office. Exactly, Barb. Yeah, it's a tough thing. Um, it is, but Barb, just soldier on. That's what you got to do. And know that there's an end. It, at some point, you're okay. So, I actually bought my dishwasher from Amazon. It's been three or four. It runs like new. Yeah, I we actually did go and look at Home Depot and Lowe's for garbage disposals. And one, I saved $34 getting it on Amazon. And they delivered it to my house and I got a hug. So, what the hell. Yeah, I don't put eggshells or bones or anything like that in a garbage in my garbage disposal because I am on septic. Now, if I was on city, I might do it a whole lot different. But like potato peels and stuff like that, it's so easy just to peel a potato in the sink, turn it on, boom, it's gone. Woo -hoo. No mess, no smell, no nothing. It's awesome. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to... You guys, I've been neglecting the bees so bad. Um... Yeah, I have really been neglecting the beast. Look at found relatives right there in the beast. Be the reason someone smiles today. I have to remind myself of that frequently. So yeah, I've been neglecting the beast in March. I'm not sure why. That was my prototype for Domino Tetris. So today I thought, let's quit neglecting the beast and um, do a... A daffodil because the other day um, it was I think it was one of the snow days I looked out and saw the um, daffodils were blooming but they weren't standing up um, oh Barb got the box yay um, yeah Barb It'll be good. It'll be good. Anyway, so today the daffodils are all actually all standing up and they look so pretty and happy, even though they're getting rained on. But I think they expect that. So the daffodils in my yard, let me get a paintbrush out and see if I find one I can like. Yeah, this one's pretty trashed out. Now nah, let's use the good, better one. Okay, this one will be good. And let me get out some sort of palette. Look at Dee Dee, I wash it. It doesn't have organisms on it or anything. It's awesome when that happens. But anyway, my daffodils are actually white with yellow. I don't know if that's unusual. You normally see the, the totally yellow ones, but mine aren't that. Oops. Or they're real, real light, light, light yellow. Um, so we'll get some yellow out here. And then, actually, I should have used the Naples yellow. I'll add it too.
then a little bit of Naples orange okay and then greens and that's it I'm actually um, eager to be go up go outside and start working cleaning up some of these gardens because they never really got cleaned out last fall so yeah I'm looking forward to going out and doing some of that and I know Robert's excited are they daffs or narcissus I thought they were the same thing Rachel I don't know you need to talk to a horticulturist or something all right Barb go have fun thanks for coming and I will definitely make a note to be at your stream on Friday oh um, my rags are all missing too all right hang on time to regroup move coffee get a cloth to dab on and clean up messes okay I'm organized let's get painting You thought that my dishes come up from the man cave? No, he can't take dishes down there. Because if I ever find a dish down there, I, he, I'll kill it. I'll just kick his ass. All right. We ready? Let's just paint. But yeah, I'm, I'm eager for spring this year. The lake has been really pretty. Um, yeah. The only thing is, you guys, this weekend the weather was really nice. And all the, um, all the city buttholes, well, not all of them, but a bunch of them, came to the lake. And that's when... Um, Reality kind of hits me in the face, you know, like, oh, God, good weather means people. We've had a whole winter of not very much people. Now I have to get used to people in golf carts, dogs crapping in my yard. It ain't pretty. So that's what you guys are going to get um, to look forward to. I'll just be bitching about that. And I'm just doing this out of my head, okay? I don't have a photo or anything. If I was halfway smart, I would get a photo out, but whatever. A daffodil is a pretty simple thing, right? But I'll be happy that there's actually something in the beast. Oh well. We disconnect them. What the hell? Okay, apparently all daffodils are narcissus. Yours are called John Quills. Okay, well, there you go. Do they have a chartered bus with the overhead sign that says City Buttholes? <laughs> If they don't, Dan, they should. The thing is, none of these people would ever be caught dead on a bus. Believe me. I actually met my husband on a bus. Okay. 
I'm going to do the center of it this orange. So these aren't exactly like mine, but oh well. Since we're making it up as we go along. And the, the paper in the Beast is pretty much um, garbage. So I don't expect, like, you can see where it's warping. That doesn't bother me. And I've done others back here in watercolor. Like, these are all watercolor. The pages do flatten out again. So even though it looks all crinkly and nasty here, it doesn't stay that way. But the... The watercolor tends to pull up. I don't care about that. Hi, Linda. Hi, Connie. Yeah, I like working in the Beast. What should be... Do they have a chartered city buttholes? I should write that down so I don't forget it, Dan. Maybe I will. Because I always have zine ideas. I have a whole page of zine ideas somewhere here in the Beast. And I also have a squish bug journal note here. Wouldn't a squish bug journal? Okay, I wrote it down. You never know when those things might pop back up. I wrote it down, Dee Dee. Are you proud? All right, now I've lost my paintbrush. There it is. All right, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun real quick so I can... Move on, move on, move on. Only takes a minute. Oops, where is my heat gun? Hang on, it's falling off its place. You try and use your superpowers for good? That's my motto too, Dan. Use your superpowers for only good. Did I see Barbara's comments? What is Barbara's comment? Let me go back. <laughs> Destination on the chartered bus reads Janet. So that's, I, they may do that. Or there's a sign when you get on the city butthole bus to come to Monkey Island, there's ads up above all the seats that say, let your dog crap in Janet's yard. I'm pretty sure that, that you get bonuses for that or something. move on get a base coat down at least you wait to the most inopportune times
the noise you hear in the background is a big mouse. Another ad could read, no monkeys here, but keep your eyes peeled, peeled for alpaca. As long as an emu. Well, the emu is gone. Right, Robert Vaughn? The what? The emu is gone. Who is gone? The emu. Your buddy. The emu. Yeah? Yeah, it's gone. They're talking in chat about the sign on the city bus. Never mind, you wouldn't get it. I guess I don't know what you're talking about. Never mind. But yeah, the emu's gone. Sad day in America. Rachel said, how you doing today, Rat? Hey, okay. The flashlight mouse. Yeah, really. Hit it quickly with the heat gun. either calibrating something no you know what he's doing he's um <laughs> he's fixing himself some cereal mm -hmm. he's waiting until almost one o'clock to eat his breakfast but don't worry he's eaten plenty already this morning the boy doesn't stop eating okay I'm gonna go over well I like the yellow real light so we'll do orange Janet make emu steaks. No. 
never eat an emu. That's a pet. some yellow and orange I just was thinking, well, where where did I put the paint? <laughs> I don't want to put my hand in the wet paint. The emu met its demise in the garbage disposal. No, the the emu passed away a few weeks ago. I thought I told you guys. We didn't know it when it happened. Jan told Robert when he went over there one day that she went out and the emu is gone. Kind of sad though, you know. Robert doesn't have a buddy anymore. Do any of you guys have a book like The Beast or anything like that? I thought I did. Hi, Marie. Jeez, I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope the world is treating you good. It's been a long, long time. All right, I think I want a little bit darker orange. Not real darker, just a little bit darker. You made yours similar. Oh, good, Kathleen. I don't know. There's something nice about just having a book for where all your junk goes. Like, I have so many notes in here, and you use Midori notebooks as beasts. You know, Julie, I'm thinking um, next year I may not do a beast like this. I don't know how I'll do not having it, but 
I'm kind of thinking I might. That's scary, huh? All right. That might be about as much paint as I want on there. <clears throat> Let me hit it with the heat gun so I can do the ink real quick. When I said it was going to be quick, I was not kidding. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to talk to Julie a minute about the, her Midori notebooks. Okay, do you use... Um, that's what I was going to ask, Dee Dee, about doing a one insert a month. So you'd end up with 12 inserts for the year. Um, you love the paper like Tomoe? I do too, Julie. And see, that's what I was thinking is that maybe it would be fun. Bang that button. Major penalty for ignoring thumbs up button. There you go, Rachel. Hit that button. Um, but yeah, I've, I've done one like this for so many years. I, I feel like I'm going to go through a grieving process when I let it go because this is so comfortable this is just so comfortable a place to either draw or whatever um, so yeah I don't know maybe no I won't do that maybe I should break in one right now just to kind of start weaning myself what do you think That's probably dry enough. I can write on it. Trying is so bad. Still, You're still watching your grandkids. Well, that's good. And you went back to high school coaching. Good on you, Marie. You had so many old junk papers in the drawer. You got, got a call from hoarders. You have several colors like Chic Sparrow. Yeah, see, I do too, Julianne. And I watch, um, like, Miss Vicky B and people who switch out their um, Midoris, you know, like, do a different one each month. And I kind of feel like I'd like to do something like that just because I have so many that don't get used. And that's the truth. Do one for April along with the Beast to see. Yeah, I like undated. Don't give me anything dated ahead of time. I don't know why, but um, for years and years, this was my original planner. And you guys are going to laugh and say, oh my God, how many years old is that? But this was my day planner for when I work. And I've converted it. Oops, don't want to show that stuff. Um... But anyway, I mean, everything that's important in my life is in this book. Like, I have stuck with this, except I can't use it as an actual planner. It's like an information hoarding device. So, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm just going to try it. I'll try it. All right, let's just start inking. Maybe I will. April would be a good month. Well, I don't know if April would be a good month or not because, um, and this is just a hybrid Technica pen. It's um, not waterproof, but the thing I like best about it is the 0 .03 nib. And I like kind of the messy look, so I don't worry too much about anything. But I do like the um, edges inked. Or, yeah, ink on the watercolor. And I still have a little bit of detail in the center there, but...
hate when I put things away before I'm done with them. It came out pretty good. I wish that wasn't so dark. I think I'll, um, where is my plate? Try and move that a little bit. That's how you take care of that. I need to sit down and do like a real drawing. Maybe I'll try and do that this week if I get scavenger hunt done. Hi, Cassie. Did I miss? Hi, Cat and Pace. Anybody else coming in? Hi, Dorothy. Well, it's 72 mile longer coat, but myself. Oh, I have to coach Robert every day, several times a day, all day. Okay, I'm going to get, let's see, we'll use some cadmium red right there in the center. Just a little bit. All right, we're going to call that about done. Because the thing is about drawings and paintings in the Beast, they can't take too much time. You don't ever have to worry about being late, Dot. Anybody who's not here coming in late or doing whatever it is they do, I always assume they're out living life, and I'm I am cool with that. Totally cool with that. Oh, and I saw in the one of the local papers here, um, we have eagles here on the lake that nest real close to the water. And they, they watch them every year. And the eagle, little baby eagles have been born. And they're already standing up. You can see their little heads out of the nest. So that's really fun. still not wet enough or dry enough. Oh, that yeah, is cool. All right, let's get on it.
Okay. All right. See, when you do something like this, you can dink with it forever. But are they bald? No, they have hairs. They have little feathers on their head, cat and paste. They're sticking straight up. But that always makes me feel like, ah, oh, spring really is here when the birds start hatching. And I had to, this week, literally had to put, um, right above our front door, there's a porch light, right? Like every other reasonable house in America. And, um... Last year, we had a pair of birds that nested right on top of the porch light. And didn't they got it done before I um, realized what was going on. And by then, the eggs were hatched. And I didn't have the heart to knock the nest down. So we ended up letting them stay until the babies left the nest. Well, that's a really dumb thing to do, okay? Because it's a mess. I mean, these birds become a mess. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do quick background. Um, yeah, it, it becomes a mess. So the other day I was sitting out in the breezeway having coffee with Nikki and I noticed these birds are back building a nest up above the porch light so i came in the house i told robert i said you go out there and you get something um out there above that porch light to keep those dang birds from building a nest because it was a mess so for the last few days i've had like a oil rag or something i don't know what he got but So that we don't have those birds and the crazy thing is i there's houses for birds all over my yard like on trees we put bird houses up so like we encourage squatting but apparently birds nests out in the trees are not as good as bird nests right in front of your front door where you have to step in their crap the rest of the year <laughs> i was like stop that don't let that happen but i like that that you know, spring's here, the birds are nesting, they're having babies, they want to live close to me that I don't want them living close to me. And I do have something planned for over here, so i got to be a little bit careful. All right, now we got a background. Robert is the heavy. <laughs> Believe me, when it comes to killing anything or, yeah, I'm sure word is out in the neighborhood that Robert Vaughn is the heavy around here, and that's a good thing. Exactly, Cassie. They don't want to play with the toys you give them. I haven't seen any birds in the other houses, though. We need to get out there and clean them up, though. That's one springtime chore that absolutely needs to get done. Okay, so that's the painting. It's done. You have the tiniest daffodil out in your garden today, about one inch. Yeah, they're fun. Ordered little wigs for the bald eagles. It's fun to see the eagles. All right, you guys, we're going to play Pictionary. I got my little self prepared. We have some paper. We have the game board. All right, you losers, get your thinking caps on. I'm not good at this. Oh, but I was going to get the, okay, I got to go get the big box because I don't like the cards in this set. What else was I going to do? Oh, the pen. I did get a pen out that you guys can see. All right, let me go get the big box. Hopefully they're not hard to find.
Did you guys hear that thunder? It's really thundering out. <sighs> All right, coffee. I put up a birdhouse and the birds built in a cardboard box on the porch. And then, okay, Rachel, here you go. This is a question. Do you let them stay there now or do you like get rid of the box? That could be true, cat and paste, that they feel safer because they know people aren't going to hurt them. All right. Don't know where that one came from. All right, this marker is probably going to go through the paper. All right, you guys got your thinking caps on? Let me clean up a little bit of my mess around here so I don't knock over the water. You guys ready? I'll play. I think it can be anything. Okay. Yeah, I think AP is all play, which means it could be anything. All right. Thinking, I get a moment to think. All right. Jeez, I can't believe I can't think how to. Can you guys see that or do I need to bring you in? Okay, Rachel got it. Ribs. That was pretty good, right? walking piece of toast. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. We'll just flip it over. That was a good one. Starving dough head. <laughs> I love you guys. You're funny as hell. Oh, I gotta, before I pick the card, I have to move my guy. All right, this is P, which is people, place, or thing, right? Oh. All right. Are we ready? Go. Okay, CB got it right away. This was Pond. CB, CB's on her game today, boys and girls. Flattened cow by a fence, lake, farm. Pond. Awesome. That one only took like 
10 seconds. I should have a timer out here. Because either my drawing is exceptional. <laughs> or you guys are just smarter than hell. What the heck are those walking things? They're cows. Or, or actually any animal. I mean, if, if you're on a farm and you have a body of water, who knows what could be out there? It could be a dog. It could be a cow. It could be a sheep. It could be a wolf. It could be a fox. Those are ducks, Dee Dee. Four-legged ducks. There you go. Okay, here. These are cows or dogs or fox or whatever. There's the giraffe predator. Give him a little ear. I think I, yeah, I think I need to roll again. Another all play. Back time. Okay, bye, Marie. It was so good of you to drop by. Drop in and let us know you're okay occasionally. Okay, this one is going to be fun. Yep, you're at the right place. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> Zine Pictionary. We could turn them into a zine. Okay, so I know what I'm drawing. Okay. Ready, set, go. on legs toilet no <laughs> toilet seat what the hell is wrong with you guys fart bubbles <laughs> I wish that was a clue oh my god Bubble bath. There you go, CB. It was bubble bath. It's a bathtub, and it's somebody laying in the bathtub with bubbles. And the, I put the wall there so y'all wouldn't think it was a hot tub. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Welcome to the loony bin. Hi, Barbara Clark. I didn't see you come in. Hi, Cassie. I said hi to Cassie. Champagne bubble bath. There you go. This is me, how I lay in the bathtub with my arms, like, hanging out up there. I could have drawn a little candle with a flame and then music playing. Now we're just giving it atmosphere. Lisa got it first. All right. Well, this is bubble bath. Some of you are really smart. Some of you need to put on your dunce caps and go to the back of the room, where I used to help. I still say it looks like Mr. Plummer swimming in a toilet. Y'all are goofballs. I thought that was a good one. All right. Five. I'll play again. All right, this one's going to go really, really fast, okay? So 
you don't even have to put on your thinking caps. You guys can get this one in about a half a minute. All right, ready, set. This will be two seconds. Ready, set, go. All right, go. Dee Dee got it. That was a fast one, right? Look at you're all getting it. You're all kneecap. It, see, Terry, I like that you went a little bit extra, but it was actually just knee. Degenerative meniscus. You sound like you have personal experience there, Barbara. Hitman diagram, yeah. Okay, now, if I did this, okay, what would you guys think this was? That would be a crime scene. <laughs> Hi, Quest of Oak Island, John. Chalk outline. See, Cassie gets it. Fat stick figure. <laughs> no, that would be a crime scene. That would be the chalk line. Goofballs. We're playing um, Pictionary because these guys, they're so goofy. They're really goofy. But I am a re really good artist. And they get it every time. All right, this is difficult. I don't like the difficult. Ready, set, let's see, difficult. Aw, oh, you guys will never get this. All right, should we cheat? You, we're never going to get this. All right, we're going to try it. But you're never going to get it. You're never going to get it. All right, we're going to do it anyway. Pretend that that line isn't there. Caboose. Um. <laughs> Streetcar, train car, caboose. Um, would Rachel say streetcar? Um, engine, engine number nine. There you go. Um, subway. See, you're never going to get it. I'm going to write the answer. Everyone taking the train to Monkey Island to let their dogs crap in my yard. Hi, Trisha. rice -a Now, see, that way, sheesh, train should suffice. <laughs> it's Amtrak. How the hell am I ever going to get you to do Amtrak? Tell me that. That was, that's a stupid one. I think that's the first one that was a big fat fail. So now we just lost our turn. A, I'll play. 
That is crazy hard, right, Cat and Paste? Thank you for making me feel better about my crap drawing skills. All right, I'll play. Okay, this one we should be able to get. All right, ready? Somebody should have already gotten it by now. Got it? No idea what I'm watching. You're watching us play Pictionary. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Flo. Drawbridge. Way to go, John. That was good, right, John? I could have put more water and stuff, too. Like, there's so much you could do. But when you get it, you just move on because you're so smart. And my drawing skills are so good. Okay, O, I believe, is object. Looks like a body. <laughs> Didi, next Wednesday, I want you to play Pictionary because I want to see if your drawings are better because we're going for speed here, right? Remember, we've got an opposing team who might kick our butt if we don't. Okay, this one's going to be easier too. All right, pay attention. This is going to be fast. Ready, set, go. dryer but I think whoever got washer and dryer got it I think all you have to do is get them to say the word dryer right but it was the dryer part so I'm not sure who to give that credit to I think I'll probably give it to stack washer and dryer round peg in a square <laughs> So you guys are thinking outside the box. I like that. Lisa actually got it first. I'm going to give it to Lisa because she said washer dryer first. But the word was actually just dryer. A prize on the price is right. There you go, Barbara. That's exactly what it is. And a Mano washer and dryer set. Valuing at $4,000. Okay, A. I don't remember what A is. A is action, I think. Got two cards. A is action. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, no. Okay. Hang on. I have to reset my brain. After you know the words, the word, what the word is, you will know why I have to um, reset my brain. Okay. Um, all right, get ready, get set, go.
see if you got it. <laughs> I think that one's really good. No, it was this part of it. It's an action, right? You guys got to remember what the... <laughs> Okay, we're moving on from suck. I couldn't do a self-portrait in that length of time. All right, I got to put all these pages together. Where do you live that you got that? She's paying attention, Flo. <laughs> She's so paying attention. <laughs> Where do you live that you got that? <laughs> Hi, Jen. P is a person or place, right? Ah, oh, this is baloney. This is baloney. Um... I, they, we're not wasting our time. That's just stupid. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is how we'll do this. The word is stepdaughter. How do you draw or indicate a stepdaughter? You guys give me an idea while I drink my coffee. How would you do that? It was a lollipop. Of course it was, CB. CB gets it. Stepdaughter, how the hell do you get that? A daughter and a step. Oh, Dee Dee! Dee Dee! Steps and a girl. Okay, then I have to admit, y'all are smarter than me. Dawson stares a mom and a child and a female sign. Yep. Ah! All right, look at y'all. You're way smarter than me. All right, this one we can get. And it remember, P is a person or a place, okay? All right, ready, set, go. Oops. Oh, this is harder than I thought. TP. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I should look, look it up. Which? No. Um. I'm obviously not. Um, yeah. Wigwam, Chinese restaurant, hydraulic tower. Oh, my God. There you go. Terry Brett got it. That was the Eiffel Tower, you guys. Axolotl. <laughs> Are you guys just looking in the thesaurus for words that's going to make me laugh? I should have put the back legs on there, I guess. Dee Dee's sitting in her chair just... You said Eiffel Tower? Okay, I'm sorry. I missed it. My bad. Looked like a teepee. It did at first, didn't it, Lisa? Eiffel Tower in France? No, it's Paris. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're moving next. One, two, three. D is difficult again. Um, let's pull a card, see what we got. Oop, this one's in there backwards. 
Okay, this one we should be able to get, okay? It might go quick, even though it's difficult. I have a few sex lags, so I need to take a quick guess. That's okay, Trisha. You don't get anything if you get it right, <laughs> except I put your name on a piece of paper. All right, you guys ready? Nope. You don't see him much anymore. God. Double decker, not a double decker. I can't believe you guys can't get this. Station wagon. Thank you, Flo. You don't see station wagons anymore. I can't believe you do that. <laughs> I can't either, Rachel. A Woody, right? It's a Woody. There you go. It's a Woody station wagon. What are the doors under the windows? Oh, well, they should be connected, I guess. You called yours the grocery go-getter? Well, we had a station wagon, but the neighbors across the street from ours, ours didn't have seats in the back. And theirs was really cool because when you opened the back, um, and it was a door that swung out like that, and then on the inside, and they had a bunch of kids, there were bench seats that sat across from each other like this. So all the kids' feet were sitting down here so you could just kick each other nonstop. Ours didn't have that. But I was so jealous of their back part because um, they had seats in the back where you could sit there and kick each other. And that made a ride go really fast. Look like a double decker. All right, y'all quit making fun of my lack of drawing skills. I invite you over here and you abuse me. Okay, one, AP, all play. Oh, we didn't have seat belts. Oh, hell no. No, you couldn't have seat belts. All right, this one we should be able to get. All right, it might be quick. Ready, set, go. Oh, this might be harder than I thought. close you're close mm. 
Muslim here, Mohawk, right? She dressed out. Oh my god, you guys, he's so funny. Ball cap, helmet, ooh. <laughs> Um, what else would he be holding? <laughs> I thought this would be so easy. Um, <laughs> I really thought this would be easy. Haircut Barber sat on a pole beanie boogie. <laughs> Hard hat. <laughs> Ah, dang, Flo, you got it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's working on scaffolding. These are people up there really high, so they're really tiny. And that's a tool belt, and that's a hammer in his hand, and he has on work boots. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Looks like he has a stick up his butt. Well, I mean, I figured that's about his waist. I, I, yeah, he... This poor guy wears his tool belt just a little bit high. The pressure is unbelievable. What? <laughs> Oh, good. Another I'll play because those are so much fun. <clears throat> okay, this one we should be able to get. <coughs> All right. I should have given him some muscles, right? All right. We can get this one, okay? Okay, you guys are on the right track. You just don't got it yet. Dee Dee's world, exactly. Somebody should be getting it. Milky Way solar system. Oh, other words. Other words for that. Um, I don't know how. There you go. Flo got it again. Outer space. All right. Give me ideas of how you could have done that better. Because we would have probably lost that one. Galaxy is a good one. Going to the moon. Going to the moon. 
space, the final frontier. Like space, okay, now we're, if we might change the rules. But if it says outer space, I think if we were playing opponents and we said, okay, space, that's good enough, they would argue with that and say, nope, 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 you got to get outer space. Because space would be like this much, right? But out here, all the way out here is outer space. Now, I could have added that, but you guys, the pressure is unbelievable. It's our opponents, Dee Dee. <laughs> Those... <laughs> Those scamperish little opponents that we have who are trying to make us follow the rules. A is action. Oh. Maybe. All right. I'm thinking... I'm getting a fresh piece of paper. There are Pictionary Police, Rachel. And they live right outside my house. So, so I must follow the rules. All right. This one's going to be... All right. I'm going to try and do it really easy. Easy. I'm just coloring it in starlight. North Star. Um, it's hard when I'm using purple. Would Trisha say? Twinkle, Twinkle got it. Trisha, way to go. Okay, did you guys get that the reason I did little star down here is if I could get you to say twinkle, twinkle, little star, somebody ultimately would say twinkle? Duh. Duh. Good job. Hi, Helen. Anybody else I miss coming in? Look at Dee Dee putting all those twinkly stars in there. Thank you, Dee Dee. Alright. O is object. So try and remember the category. Oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, all right, we're going for it. There are categories. Yes, Dee Dee. Jenna, I think that's my favorite thing you've ever said. The Pictionary Police live right out. They do. They live right outside my house. I know they do. All right, ready, set. Oh, there's so many ways I could go with this. And I know where you guys are going to go if I do it this way. Oh, my God. All right, we're just going to do it. Ready, set, go.
Okay, Dee, I'm going to give it to Dee Dee because she said the word. Cranberry. See, I knew that's where you guys would go. All I'd have to do is go like this and somebody would go, Cranberry. <laughs> it's food. <laughs> Place setting. See, I, that's just it. Or, or the other thing I thought was, well, I could try, try and draw a grocery shelf where there's just like canned goods and stuff like that. But we're going to give it to Dee Dee. And it was not. Cranberry, however, is food. Why the pitchfork? That wasn't a pitchfork. That was just a fork. Because that's what I make Robert eat dinner with. The least rusty pitchfork I can find. Oh, difficult. Oh, oh. Knew those cranberries. I knew it, Dee Dee. And who taught you how to set a table? Rachel, I wasn't even thinking about it. I just wanted you guys to get the idea. And maybe nobody ever did. Oh, this one should be easy. All right. <clears throat> All right, this one should be easy, you guys. Somebody got it fast. I think Cassie got it first. That was a pretty good flask, wasn't it? Filling a flask. See, that's just it. But I... If I'd have left it like that, you know, there was a lot of things. But if you see that it's coming out of another bottle that says Jim Beam. Then you know it's a flask. What's the tea bag for? Oh, no. I have a, um, I, I don't know where it is. I haven't seen it in a while. But there, I have a flask. It's an old antique flask that's made out of sterling silver. And this actually is a little chain. And the lid is actually attached to the flask by a little chain. And I'm pretty sure that's so that when you get drunk and you open your flask, you don't drop the lid and then have to get down and look for it under the theater seats because then potentially your butt crack would show. So I'm pretty sure that the people who design flasks said you don't want your butt crack showing in a theater, so make sure you never drop that lid. I'm I was prob I I can just imagine the meeting where they discussed the whole butt crack not showing in the theater I've been in some of those meetings that are just like that <laughs> well Barbara honest to God that's what I think people they get into meetings and all of a sudden you're not talking about what you're talking about you're talking about all the the potential things that could go wrong we don't know that let's just do something and see and if somebody shows their butt crack in the theater who cares? Unless your infant is watching. Janet was in the focus group. <laughs> Alright, that was one, two, three. This is object. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. 
We can do this one. We can do this one. All right, make sure we got the little. All right. Drawing with this big ass thing isn't the easiest thing. I think Dee Dee got it. I'm going to give it to Dee Dee. Nail polish. It was actually the two words nail polish. So this is like tricky because Dee Dee said polish. But Terry Brett said nail polish. That is one butt ugly hand, isn't it? That is deformed. But we're talking speed here. I'm going to give it. Partially to Dee Dee, partially. It's one dodgy looking hand, right? <laughs> it looks like <laughs> I love these crazy drawings. Am I out of paper? I think I am. That's all right. Let me grab some more paper real quick. All right, here we go. That's what, okay, this is the truth of that is that's what old lady hands look like. Look at that. Okay, what, let, let me go back and see what Rachel said. Because if she's painting your fingers with blood. No, there was a nail polish bottle there. Dee Dee does have a whole box full. Surprisingly, I have a whole box full. I used to paint my nails all the time. I just don't anymore. Because I spent more time taking the polish off and repainting them than I did actually enjoying them. So I thought, what am I doing? AP, I'll play like that. Go back further. Oh, I got to go back further than that? Oh, God. Winding trail that looks like a hand finger nail polish. <laughs> oh my god. All right, this is all play. All right, all right. We got this one. We can do this. And I'm going to give you a little tiny hint that somebody has, well, a lot of you said this earlier. Okay, ready? This is going to be fast. Who got it first? That one went really, really. Dee Dee says Eiffel Tower butt crack. <laughs> um, Lisa got it first. All right, here I'm gonna do that same one again. We'll get. We're gonna give this to Lisa. Could I have drawn? I would have gotten kicked out because for not following the rules. Oh, I forgot to put the sheet in. Dang it. Okay. Here's how I could also have done that one.
Would you guys have gotten it if I'd have done that? That could have worked too, right? I'm just not sure if you can use letters. I could have, Helen. Why the swastika? Oh, because they have that Indian thing that looks kind of like a swastika, but yeah, no, Nazi TV. <laughs> Man watering his lawn. That would have worked. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. There's only been one so far that I knew we were not going to get. Um, this one, okay, we're doing all play. This one we should be able to get, I think. <clears throat> and it could go fast if y'all are thinking halfway decent, okay? Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, Helen got it. How do you spell silhouette? I thought that. Good job, Helen. Good job, me, drawing it. Now, if it was going to be shadow CB, I would have done it different. I would have done, like, my famous stick figure. And then like this. There's something, right? Helen did great. Silhouette. Exactly. She should, uh, well, she forgot a T. Oh, Barbara Clark, Clark, Clark misspelled it. But I think, yep. Anne spelled it right. And Helen spelled it right. So good on you. How do you spell that? Look at the card, freak. <laughs> Rachel, okay, I'm going to give you the lecture I gave to Robert Byte Vaughn night before last. I don't remember what we were talking about, but he gave me some dipshit answer. <laughs> and I told him, if you're going to start acting like me, <laughs> we're going to have problems. <laughs> so, Rachel, if you're going to start acting like me, we're going to have problems. <laughs> A action I don't like. Bye, Cassie. Okay. Who oh boy? Who oh boy? Oh boy? Oh boy? I'm thinking. I have predictive text to thank for the proper spelling. Way to go, Helen. <laughs> All right, this one is going to be difficult. Um, God, that coffee's good. Poor Robert. Poor Robert, my butt. He has the best life in the world. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so hard. I'm not sure that we can get this. Um, all right, we're just going to go for it.
hopscotch buffet. No. Check out. Yeah, see, I don't know how to get you guys to say this. You're close. Like, Trisha, you are so close. Conveyor belt. Yeah. Um, I can't. A supermarket. Yeah, I just, I don't know what how to get you to say what I want you to say. They ought to have a... Okay, we're going to grocery store. It is a grocery store. I did draw the grocery store. But now we're going to do a different category because we're going to do it like um, charades. It's going to be a rhymes with. Okay? And I don't know how to do that. So if I do a RW, that means rhymes with. I'm going to try and get you to say the word no matter what. Remember, this is just a rhymes with. What is the dog doing in the grocery store? <laughs> Bunyan. <laughs> I think it's a cart. It is a cart. Fun sun bun. Okay, it rhymes with. What did I just draw down here? This rhymes with this. Bye. Thank you, Kathy. You are the only halfway smart one in the whole damn audience. Scanning gun. Bye. How the hell do you get somebody to do bye? We're going to do rhymes with from now on. Sunny days sweeping the clouds away on our way to where the air is clear. You can tell me how to get to Sesame Street. Service dog. <laughs> it was, Helen. Somebody pitched you at it. Bye rhymes with clouds? No. Okay. You have the sun and the clouds. When you have the sun and the clouds, what does that mean? It's the whole sky. You thought... Oh, that was the dollar sign. I was trying to get you to go for what you're, the money, the spending. Okay, okay, tell me how you would have gotten you guys to say bye. The sun did start off looking like an onion. <laughs> yeah, all are a bunch of goons. I exercise my unbelievably good drawing skills and then you guys come up with stupid crap like that. You could have made a picture. Oh, I, I could have done that, Barb. I could have just drawn Dubai. Someone waving goodbye. Oh, Trisha, that's good. Yeah, because it just has to sound like it. It doesn't have to... Someone at door waving. Okay. See, you, some of you guys... Um, but when it's spelled B-U-Y, then my brain doesn't go to hi and bye. But, yeah, maybe I need to think outside the box, huh, Dee Dee? Okay, this is object. Object. Oh, this one's going to be easy. And this is actually what I wouldn't mind doing to half of you. All right. Kick their butts. Hang man. There you go. Dee Dee got it. That was good, right? That was really good. Yeah, baby. In the box should be expected to think outside the box. <laughs> Have I broken the rule, Helen, asking you guys to think outside the box when you are already friends in the box?
Jana wants the new sauce. I wondered who was going to put my previous thought in my face. In your face. Rhymes with moose, goose, loose. See, I could have done that, Vibra. Because we have new rules now. Okay, this is A, which is an action. Ugh. Okay, now you guys are going to have to explain this. I'm not going to draw this. I think I could get you ultimately to say it. Okay, but A is action, right? Why is the word scar? Look at action, scar. A scar is not an action. Damn cheaters. I'm not going to play a game where the cheater people write the words. We're picking a new one because we're cheaters. <laughs> Okay, now this one makes sense. This one's going to be hard. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard. Scar. Calls the Pictionary Police. It is the result of an action. Well, that's the. I want the Pictionary Police to come in here right now. Because we're going to have a discussion. A scar is not an action. But this next one that I'm getting ready to draw is an action. Okay. I'm going to do this comic strip. Ready? Falling tightrope. Rescue. Rescue a baby four square falling. Oh, come on, man. Tumble. Um. All right, let's see how I could get you to say this. Okay. Here we go. This is a, a secondary drawing. You guys, come on. There you go, Icy. If you were here right now, I swear to God, Icy, I would kiss you on the lips. Icy totally gets my logic. You misspelled it, but summer salt is all I needed, Icy. Sun or salt. <laughs> All right. This is obviously the four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I drew the arrow to summer. 
over here, it's obviously a person flipping over. Some are salt. Someone already said it way back there. Oh, really? Oh, my bad. Oh, Terry Brent said summer salt all the way back there. Oh, my God. I went to all that for nothing. All right, Terry Brent, I owe you a kiss on the lips. All right, I got to get some more paper out. Oh, I have some right here. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I need to watch chat. It's hard to draw these exceptionally excellent drawings and um, run from the Pictionary Police and read all the answers. Do you know how much trouble this is for one girl? One stinking girl. All right. Oh, some of these cards have gotten but put back in backwards. Or maybe I'm putting these in. Oh, God, I think I really goofed up. I would have done the sun and a salt shaker next to a margarita. Yeah, because I can draw that in about two and a half seconds. Can we make it the cheek? Can we make it the cheek? All right, I'll play again. Woohoo! Oh boy. All right, we're going to try it. Boom, riding the wave. Chris, you guys are kind of a big wave. Okay, Rachel, Rachel, come on. Um, tsunami. Oh. How can I get you to say this? Um, all right, this is going to be total cheating. Total cheating here. There you go, Rachel got, oh, somebody got it first. Linda Rance got it first. Tidal wave, tide, see, that's what I was gonna do. Tidal wave. I don't know who got it first. Who did I say? Linda Rance. Good job. See, Crest would be good. All the guesses are really good, you guys. It's just trying to get you to say the exact right cranberry, Dee Dee. Cranberry. All right. <clears throat> Another all play. Can you believe how lucky I'm getting today? Oh, no. Um, I don't think we can play this one. Look at Dee Dee putting tidal waves in. My gosh, we have graphics today. Um, I, I just don't think we can do that one. Sorry, folks, we're not doing that one because I, the word was ace. All right, tell me how I could do that. Tell me how you could get me to say ace. I'm waiting. All right, this next one we're probably going to be able to get, I hope. Ugh. 
ace in a card, playing card, draw a card. Eh. Yeah, I probably could have done that, huh? Man, my brain. My brain. Draw two and a king card. All right, you guys would have gotten it. I would have not. Sorry. Big fat loser. And when when I saw Ace, what I was thinking was like the Red Baron and Snoopy, like a flying Ace. I didn't think about the playing card Ace. Ugh. Now I feel really stupid. And the truth is, I should feel really stupid. <laughs> because I really thought of a flying ace. You make it too complicated. I might, Dee Dee. But this one's going to be easy. Okay? On your mark, get set, go. CB got it. Oh, no. Helen Cole got it first. Totem pole. A mood chart. No lie, Abigail. Hi, by the way. What'd Rachel say? Yep, can you get a Pez? Pez would be good. Rhymes with space minus SP. <laughs> that was good guessing. All right. Ah, another action. All right, this one I think we can get. <clears throat> All right, you guys ready? Hi, Auntie Ro. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to give it to you. Trisha got it. It's actually just erupt, but it's erupting is good enough. Way to go, way to go. Look at Cat and Paste putting in the little icons. Woohoo! I love when we have graphics to go along with it. One, two, three. P is person, place, or thing, I think. Oh boy. All right, we're going to try this one. All right. Yeah, we're going to try it. Oops. Oh, 
seesaw got serve Romeo and Juliet seesaw what are you what are you guys talking about manicurist thank you Rachel oh my god <laughs> Beautician, it's actually manicures was the actual word, so way to go. What's wrong with that, Dee Dee? The girl is over there, and her arms are up there going like this, and she's got this in her hand doing a manicure. And if, if I was doing pedicure, I would have put her down here. Right? I think I paid myself. <laughs> Rachel's not cheating. Rachel got it. Look at, look at, there's the fingernail polish. Look at, oh, that had to be really good for Rachel to get it. <laughs> Foot fetish. <laughs> Can I lick your toes, lady? <laughs> I pay you fifty dollars. <laughs> that just looks way weird, right? <laughs> Please, can I see beach? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Rachel, you're funny. Already peed yourself. That's not a good sign. It's still early in the day. Well, at least where I am is still early in the day. One, two. A, another action. All right. Ready? Oh. Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, we're going to try this one. Ready? We're going. Oops. Oh, well, it'll just be a boy. There you go. And got it. Can't see. Oh, I'm sorry. Guy who thinks he's a tripod. <laughs> you heard that thunder? Yeah. <coughs> tap dance. And got it. It was actually just tap. Okay, I'm thinking you guys, I'm doing better than you guys, um, porn movie soundtrack. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I didn't leave room for the guy's legs. Yeah, it's really thundering right now. Really, really thundering. I don't think it's supposed to get um, tornadic or anything. It looks really dark out right now, though. But we'll just go with whatever. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Sorry. Put the paper in the viewing field. Maybe I'm up too close. I don't know. Another action. What the hell? Sorry. All right, this one we're going to get, okay? And I'll make sure that you guys can see. All right, ready?
okay, you got it. Bye, IC. Have a great afternoon. All right, Dee Dee got it again. That was a good one, though. Skydiving. See, it could have been any of those, but Dee Dee did get the parachute, so good on you. Difficult. Difficult. Oh, that's bull owning. I almost said something different, but we're not doing that one. Oh. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this. Okay, bye, Dee Dee. I'm going to be done here shortly. Um... I'm going to try this one. Um, all right, we're going to try this. I'm trying to think what the most common... All right, I'm going to do it in two parts, I think. Okay, you got it. The word was just tug. But I I wasn't sure. Who got it first? Rachel got it first. But if that hadn't worked, the tug of war, I was going to draw a tugboat. Tug of war. Woohoo, that was good. We'll use this other half of paper. Oh, object. Losers on the right. Jokers on the left. <laughs> Stuck in the middle with you. Okay, ready? This one could be... This one could be kind of fast, okay? There you go, Trisha. Trisha is on it. That was good, though, right? Trisha, I think if we played Pictionary together, we would kick everybody in the whole city's ass. For real. I'm pretty sure we would. Where did my paper go? Because now we've got bleed through. That was a good one. Woohoo, Trisha. We're badass team. I'll play again. We would. We would kick the whole city's ass. Oh, okay. This one we can get. It's just going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, but we can get this one, I'm sure. Yeah, we can get this one.
jury. Kalura got it. Judge and jury. Okay, it might have. Flo got it first. It's actually the jury. Woohoo! I think Flo got it first. That was a pretty good courtroom, though, don't you think? Uh, I got all the players. Like, there's the judge. There's the witness. There's the prosecutor. There's the defense attorneys. I got them all in there. All of them. Yeah. What did Abigail say? Guilty. Okay. Difficult. We've been getting like difficult in all place constantly. Just like watching Law and Order, only this is funner. Oh no. All right. I think I can get you guys to say this. Okay. John did the right thing. Corner. Handrail not all cordless. There you go, Flo. Flo, you are kicking butt. That's ingenious. I, I don't care what anybody says. It's freaking ingenious. Remember when we used to think, like, cordless phones were, like, the coolest thing in the whole world? Like, used to be when I was little. Well, one, we didn't even have a phone when I was little. But then we got one that um, hung on the wall. So when you're talking on the phone, you had to stay right there by the wall. Sometimes there was a chair. Sometimes there wasn't. Then you got really cool, and you could have one on the table that had a long cord that you could actually move. Then we got cordless oh my god you could walk all over the house with it but you couldn't leave the house now look at us today freaking these bad boys are on us like we had an umbilical cord right and they weighed two pounds right and this is oops just lost the dice um thanks rachel um yeah in my lifetime but I think back to my grandmother's lifetime she lived to be 103 oh my god I'll play again um, she literally went from horse and wagon to long beyond man on the moon so when you think about how fast technology is changing um, it's frightening what our kids are going to be dealing with I'm kind of glad I'm not going to live to see it frankly but I mean, they have so many things in their future that I wouldn't even want to address. You didn't have... Exactly, right, CB? Ooh. Okay, we're going to do it, but it's going to be a hard one. Okay.
All right, you should be able to get that. Armored car. There you go. And Lair got it. This guy's holding a gun. Bank vault on wheels. God, I wish the bank vault would come to me. That would be so awesome. <clears throat> we did good on that one. We did really good on that one. We're getting really quite good at this. When I say we, I mean me. <laughs> A, action. This is my least favorite. Okay, this one, we're going to cheat on this one. Um, okay. Yeah, we're probably going to cheat on this one. God. And this is a RW. Okay, who got it first? Terry Brett got it. Beaver chew down tree. That's what I was trying to get at, that the beaver was chewing on the tree, but I didn't think you would get gnaw, so that's why I had to do a rhyme swift. That was kind of cheating, but not really. Terry Brett, you go Terry. Bad girl, bad girl. I like this new um, rhyme swift rule that we have. I wish I'd made it up before. <laughs> Another all play. This one is going to be like instant. This one's going to be so fast. Like you better get your typing fingers on right now. Ready, set, go. That's all I'm going to draw. Well, I can do this. Go for it. Cranberries. <laughs> all right, Barbara got it first. I knew somebody was going to get it like... It was just snowman. God, why don't I get those when I'm actually really playing the game? Now we can finish. We can give him a carrot nose. <clears throat> Here we go. That was fast, right? I love easy ones. Oh, I love easy ones. D, difficult, up. Uh. Okay, I think we can get this one. Um, Oklahoma snowmen have hair but no scarf. Hell, we haven't had enough snow since I've... Well, no, one year we did have enough snow. You couldn't build a snowman in Oklahoma.
There you go, Barbara. We are not politically correct around here. We don't even pretend. So that's good. All right, let me double check. Yeah, we can get this one. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> okay. You might have to be a certain age to get this. I don't know. Jennifer got it. That was pretty good, though, wasn't it? Yeah, baby. get so happy with myself when I excel like that you know all right Ugh. action keep that in mind action ah this is baloney <sighs> this one I can't even cheat and come up with a rhymes with I'm not going to torture you. <laughs> I'm just not going to torture you. I want to torture you, but I'm not going to. I picked another one, so you can call me a cheater um, if you want. I don't care. Um, this one's going to be hard. All right. We may or may not get this one, okay? Blackboard alphabet, cheater, procrastinating, striking mat. Okay, blackboard alphabet. Oh. Um. Uh, I don't know how to get. Okay, CB got it. It's actually print. Way to go, CB. That one was really, I, I wasn't sure. Because it could be, like, right? Blackboard, teach, bird, you know, cursive. But I thought, oh, print, how, how are you going to get? Tell me how you would have done that. Because that one was just like, what the hell do I do? Because a print to me is actually printing, printing press, you know, like, way to go, CB, thinking outside that box, girl. <clears throat> so 
So why did you write? So what did I write? You mean like this? To show you that this is cursive, this is block lettering, but you print it. I don't know. Fingerprint minus finger. <laughs> oh, Trisha, that would definitely be easy to draw. Oh, no, not again. Okay. I think we can get this one. Marks I never got in school. School and teaching blackboards, so why did you write me? Okay. I think we can get this one. All right. I'm just trying to think the best way to do this. Urinal. <laughs> squirt. Okay, Jennifer got squirt gun. I think that was the first one, and all you had to say was squirt. So good on you. That's a pretty good squirt gun, actually. See, some people call them water pistols. I always call them squirt guns. But yeah, and I think nowadays it's probably more common water pistol or whatever. Do they even let kids have those these days? Because everybody's so freaking crazy about every damn thing. Can you buy a water pistol anymore? Or are they against the law, too? They give me a great big Nerf gun. Have you guys ever seen the video of that old woman and her grandson who um, shoot each other and chase each other around the house with Nerf guns? That old woman is the funniest person ever. I love her. I love her so much. Okay. Difficult. Look like a urinal. <laughs> you can? Okay, good, Ann. Now they're pump action water pistols. Trisha. We got to go get them. Okay, this is difficult. Ooh, I don't like this one, but that's all right. We're going to do it because it's real life, okay? Okay, Rachel got it. It was firing squad. I think Lisa or er, Rachel got it first. Sometimes I look up chats moving and I just Yep, Rachel got it first. Prisoner peeing on guards. <laughs> I guess y'all just sees what you see. <laughs> Object. We're almost done here. Um, 
Okay, I think we can get this. But now I've got to stop and think about the audience. Um, all right, I think we can get it. can't remember what's under that. Um, Post. No. Um, bingo. <laughs> there you go, CB. clocking in card well if I was going to do a clocking in card I would have done it different because I would have done it like um, more oblong like this with a big clock on it and then a card coming out of it petrol pump well no I, I couldn't do petrol pump because right now I I couldn't draw it big enough to put all the numbers that you end up owing. <laughs> all right, you guys, this is going to be the last one. So be on your toes. Six. Did I do six? Okay, this is the action. Oh, give me a break. Um, oh, I don't know how we're going to do that. Looks like a Pop-Tart. <coughs> I sent Pop-Tarts to Lena in Denmark. That was the last time I had Pop-Tarts. Is because when I sent her some, I bought me some too. Um, I'm going to choose a different one, you guys. For the last one, that one's just not fun. It's stupid. I hope it's cranberry. That one's stupid, too. You don't have to play the stupid words. Um, I don't like any of these. Alright, I'm just going to flip through cards until I find one I like. Alright, we're going to do this one. Alright, I think we can get... Um, they're so good. You know the only ones I like, in are the strawberry that don't have frosting on it. Don't buy the stupid ones with frosting so that you can put them in the toaster and then just slather them with butter. Pictionary by selection only. Rachel, that's the way we play around here. Alright. This one we can get. Okay. My house, my rules. Shouting bump. Rachel got it. That was fast, Rachel. Rachel must have woke up because here towards the end of the game, she totally got on her groove. All right, we got one more blank sheet of paper. We're going to do one more. I'm a big fat liar. And if it's not one I like, we're going to just pick until we find one we like. How about that? Because that's the way I like to play. Another action. Come on. Okay, this one we can do. Okay. I'm not sure how I want to do it. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure we can do this.
right, sewing whoever got it first. Lisa. All right, you guys, we did really good. Don't you think we did good? Do you guys really like playing this? I love playing this. Like, it's fun for me. I hope it's fun for you guys. We did really good, though, I think. I might have to go on the Pictionary circuit. Don't you think? Do you guys think I should go on the Pictionary circuit? Look at all these that we did. We did a lot. Shit, we played for two hours. All right, knuckleheads. I did do a little bit of art. <laughs> I'm just glad that the beast has not been neglected. Finally, something got done in the beast. And if you can't tell the Eiffel Tower from a TP, dude, that is on you. Give up my day job. My day job is just nothing. <laughs> Doing anything I want all day, every day. All right, you guys, it was fun. It was fun for me. Thank you for the prayer, Rachel. I always appreciate it. Um, go out and have some fun. Do some art. Be creative. Be kind. It's getting harder and harder, but I try harder and harder. All right, you guys, love you. See you next time around. Adios, Amigos.